Hey guys and welcome back to the CCFC Perspective and in today's video we're going to be doing another Cheltenham Town news video. And we're going to be covering a lot of stories in today's video. These stories are going to be about the new kit that was released. Obviously it was released quite some time ago now but my kit has finally arrived so I'm going to be making videos in this from now on. Cheltenham Town's new signing and who it actually is obviously being released on their socials and actual Cheltenham Town website today. They're be links for them down in the description and finally the news based around when fans will be finally confirmed dates when will we be able to go to stadiums how many fans will be allowed in stadiums and the most important news a little bit of special news to the end of the video as well season tickets <laughs> Before we do get into all of this, so would you mind subscribing to the channel and dropping it a like? The more people that like the video gives it expansion to a larger audience so we can grow as a channel, as a family. And if you subscribe to the channel, that just does exactly the same thing. The more the channel grows, the bigger videos and actual giveaways that the channel can do. I've still said when football is back, if the EFL rewards thing is working, I'll be trying to give away tickets for if we get to any landmarks and milestones of the channel. So that's something to look forward to. And yeah, just the general fact that if you are coming back for every single video that we upload, you might as well subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell, just so you know whenever a video goes live and you can be there on time, you can be the first person here. So yeah, I don't want to bore you with that stuff anymore. Let's get into the video. The first bit actually isn't a news story, it's just mainly based around the channel and how there'll be a new look for me and the channel. Obviously, I did make the video about the kit being released. Well, this is it, it's finally here. Obviously, I'm going to be wearing it to games and it's just going to be my main attire for the channel. So that's all I really want to mention about it. I'm going to keep my thoughts, my entire thoughts about the kit for the kit video which is going to be released on the channel shortly that's right a little spoiler for the channel we're going to be making a video where me and tyler both rank the latest league two kits to be released in some sort of ranking order and i hope that we don't offend any clubs in this it is just mainly based on stylistically and how me and tyler thinks it works obviously is it Firstly, does it look nice? And also, does it fit with the club? Has it got a nice effect? Should it not really be on a football kit? Things like that. So that's something to look forward to. Also, let's go on to the next news story. And this is, of course, Cheltenham Town's new signing, Andy Williams. He's a 33-year-old striker, and he actually went through Cheltenham Town's Youth Academy, so he's technically coming home to Cheltenham. The news of his signing for Cheltenham came out at 5.30pm Wednesday the 29th of July. I'm not going to lie, in all honesty, the announcement video was pretty poor, but it was actually to show Cheltenham Town's new partners in association with their signing on players. So we will put the tweet on screen now. And the partners, as you can see on screen, are Little Jet and Co. So the logistics of the contract is he has signed a one year deal, obviously coming from Northampton after they got promotion to League One via the playoffs. I'm just going to go into a bit of his career stats so you can understand a bit more about him. So, in his career, he has played 329 games in League One. Within this time, he picked up 76 goals, 29 assists, and also 20 yellow cards. Yet to get a red card, though, which I guess is good, because he knows how to take a tactical foul for the team, as well as bagging a few goals, but you won't take it too far and get sent off, which is what you like to see for a striker. He's played a lot less games in League 2, only 149, but he's managed to get 40 goals, 10 assists, and 7 yellow cards. So it's nice to see that if you do your minute to goal ratio, it's reasonably similar in both divisions. 
But also, if he can make it in League One, that's even better for us because it means we sort of have a League One quality striker, even though he is quite possibly past his best at this point. If he's got experience in that division, he can bring it to the dressing room and hopefully we can get promotion to League One. Obviously, we're going to win the league, right? And in the Cups combined, it's not really looking that hopeful. He's played about 60 games in all the Cups combined, got about 15 goals and 8 assists. So not too bad, but nothing to write home about. This season, however, it's been pretty reasonable for him. He's made 32 appearances, getting himself 8 goals and 1 assist. He is most definitely going to be a centre forward for the club, but he has got little experience drifting wide to the left and drifting wide to the right. But obviously, he's most likely just going to stay centre because I'm not saying that he's old, so he must stay in the centre. But obviously, as a player gets older, he slightly, slightly starts to lose his legs, making him much better and much more lethal through the centre of the pitch. He's played for quite a few clubs in his career. He obviously played for Hereford, under-19s, Bristol Rovers, Yeovil Town, Swindon Town, Doncaster, and most recently, Northampton Town. I'll throw the actual statement that he said on screen now, but I'll read it out to you as well. So, the 33-year-old discusses why this is the ideal move for him. How he feels he can make his experience count, his memories of being part of the academy setup as a youngster at Cheltenham, and how League 2 will shape up this season and more. Hopefully throughout the next few weeks and months and obviously when the season begins I can try and bring up more news about him and hopefully he starts playing really well for Cheltenham but at this moment in time I can't really say much else about him. And now on to the final news story of the video. It is of course season tickets. We will try and throw as much of the statements on screen as we possibly can. I'll read it to you now. So the main bullet points at the top of the Cheltenham statement are season ticket prices are frozen for this season 2021 ages 16 to 22 from £3.4p per game booking fees removed five click renewal on newly upgraded ticket system and admittance to all games subject to government guidance. Obviously, Cheltenham Town will be 100% willing to follow every single safety procedure so fans can get back into stadiums, have as much fun as possible, obviously giving money to the club and actually bringing the feeling of football truly being back to Cheltenham Town. Okay, back to the statement now. The EFL announced on Friday that the new season is set to get underway on Saturday, September 12th, with the government recently stating that crowds will follow on October 1st. That means we are not that long away from Cheltenham being back in the pitch, us being in the stadium and us being to watch it. This means that only for the first few weeks of the season they'll be playing behind closed doors and then we will be behind our boys. So a few days ago, tickets opened to be renewed for current season ticket holders. And then once it hits August 7th, others will be able to apply for season tickets, giving it a bit of a loyalty bonus. So for a few weeks, they actually get to renew them and guarantee their spot at Cheltenham. Here is the price list if you needed to know already. Obviously, different stands and terraces prices do vary, but it's pretty reasonable and similar prices for each age group around the stadium. If you do have any questions about the statement, there is actually an FAQ section on the statement. So any uh, popular questions that need to be asked, there are answers to them. And that was pretty much it for all the news stories today. But Redford, you said that there was one big bit of news to end the video. And that is myself, my dad, who obviously comes to games with us, and Tyler have all got ourselves season tickets. So the CTFC perspective will be there for every single possible game we can next season, bringing vlogs, bringing action, and obviously bringing the limbs of Cheltenham Town right to this YouTube channel. I'm honestly so excited. I can't be, I just, oh, I just can't believe it. it's not that long away. We've waited so long. Football has been gone for so long. I honestly cannot remember how it feels. Obviously, it's going to be slightly different as fans do have to follow all of the safety 
procedures and we just need to make sure we follow everything that the government guidelines do state but hopefully even though there's only 33 percent of the stadium to be filled it'll still be rocking around the stadium so i just think it's a very smart decision from the 1887 red army to move block seven to block one and that's it have i covered everything are you excited to see vlogs on this channel guaranteed for next season i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like i said earlier on in this video you mind smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel it would mean the world to us our links will be down in the description as always two videos like this will be on screen very shortly and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya